This was a problem I was having with the Joomla Google Maps plugin, uh, where I wanted to show different parts of a uh, of my Google Map. All right, so I've got two, uh, say, uh, a few different locations. All right, see here on my top map, and I just wanted uh, in Joomla to be able to zoom in and have a look at these uh, these sections. All right, uh, I'm sure there's a better way to do this. If there is, uh, can someone please let me know? But uh, this is how I did it. All right. First thing you do is just to go into your plug-in manager, all right, and just go down to your Google Maps. And here we go. Just have a look. I won't go through the installation procedure. Um, I should imagine you've already known a few things. Obviously, the important thing here is your uh, Google API key. Uh, get one just pretty quick and simple just from Google Maps when you, you create your um, your Google your Google account all right um, don't worry about that but these are just your old uh, your default um, latitude longitude that's pretty much yeah okay that's just pretty all of these are just your defaults won't go through those play around with them all right so let's go to let's go make an article all right, so article manager, and uh, okay, look, I'll just uh, locate this one up, and uh, just unload that one. All right, and then let's have a look at my second test map. All right, so what I want to do, this is my Google map here. Uh, what I want to do first up, I'll just go to a link and uh, paste a link in an email. All right, so I'm just going to copy that link and I'm just going to bring it down here. Now, the important thing about this is that I'm using the JEC or the JCE text editor, uh, it's not very good for this. Um, this is probably the best way to do it. All right, is to right mouse button and paste as plain text. All right, let's do that again. All right, paste as plain text. All right, here we go. There it is. And I'm just going to control V, and uh, that's my link. Now I'll just try to break this up a bit. I'll make it clearer. All right, so what we want is Moz Map. And we want this thing here, the MSID. All right, so we're just going to delete everything from there. All right, there we go. And everything behind it. All right, so you're going to be very careful with this. And put quotation marks in, just the single quotation marks. And parentheses, I think that's what they're called and insert and there it is let's hit apply and hopefully that loads up yep now let's go to our front page what we should get is that um, our google map right. so make sure everything's okay Yep, so there I am. So there it is. So this first one, I've just put in that uh, MSID code and uh, it comes up. All right, next thing I want to do, I want to get uh, a link for Culture Square. All right, so I'm just going to zoom into Culture Square. All right. All right, there we go. Just try to. Try to zoom up. All right, there it is. Center it up. Click on it. And again, the link. Same as before. Uh, copy. Actually, what I might do, I better do it the right way first. All right, I'm going to hit copy that. 
and go back in to my editor, Culture Square. And again, very important, paste as paste as plain text. So it is here. Paste as plain text. All right, there we go. Control V. Now the things we want are Moz map. We want our MSD number again. All right, I'm just going to move that up. I'm in Firefox. There we go. Now I need to put. I don't know what these things are called, but it's call it a vertical line and it's going to be my latitude and my well, my latitude and my longitude all right and I can find those in Google here it is here they just call it LL latitude longitude I think and let's put that up okay so I'm just going to select that and bring it up into there remember my quotation marks my single quotation marks all right vertical line longitude all right let's go look those that way here we go Oops. select that and put that there remember my single quotation marks there we go vertical line and here it is it's saying that's a Z so I might just make that zoom equals 17 all right there we go don't need this anymore so I'll delete that and insert all right that's probably the safest way to do it hit apply and then go up hit reload okay well that's waiting to reload I might just go back to here and I'm just going to choose another section might try Nunhu Park All right, go in. All right, there it is. Hit link and copy. All right, so that'll be the next one I've done. So there you go. You can see now I was able to have the second uh, using that same map that I'm able to zoom in uh, right up into uh, Culture Square. There it is. All right, let's make another one. And people's square this is going to be this is south park all right and again paste as plain text all right I'll just control v and try to zoom in a bit all right so i've got moz map all right i need this id number here so it knows which map I'm doing. Quotation marks. All right, vertical line. Lat equals quotation mark. And pop that up there. Close quotation mark. Vertical line. Long equals quotation mark again very important that it's going to be all on the one line there we go Click. right vertical and I might make this zoom equals might make it a bit smaller um, 14 right and close okay delete all of that insert Oh, oops, got a break here. I don't know if that's safe or not. Better be sure. Yeah, 
that would have caused problems. It's all going to be on one line with no breaks. All right, let's hit apply. And hopefully we should have, using the one map, using a one Google map, we should be able to have uh, multiple locations. All right. There we go. Lovely. All right, so we've got different, same two locations, different zooms, one map. Okay, there we go. Uh, anyone's got a better, uh, easier way to do that? Please let me know. Okay, thanks.